Six signs of a silent heart attack that are always ignored. Hello there, viewers. Assume it's a typical day. You receive a phone call from a buddy alerting you of his hospitalization. He was only going to the doctor because he had indigestion. However, sources indicate that he had a heart attack a few weeks earlier. You're stunned and wondering what might have gone wrong. Believe it or not, your body sends you subtle warning signs before to a silent heart attack. Do cold sweats have any significance? Can discomfort in the right arm be a warning sign? All of this and more is being discussed. What exactly is a silent heart attack? In most movies, a heart attack is depicted by someone clutching their chest tightly, gasping for breath, or blacking out. But it isn't always this dramatic. Unlike Hollywood heart attacks, a quiet heart attack has no or few symptoms. It's referred to as silent myocardial ischemia by doctors. It's difficult to think that something as serious as a heart attack may occur without your knowledge. According to research, 45% of heart attacks are silent. Women are far more likely than men to be struck by one. Because the symptoms of a silent heart attack are so modest, they are sometimes misdiagnosed as another, less dangerous disease. But, what causes quiet heart attacks? Oxygen-rich blood powers your heart. Cholesterol-rich plaque begins to accumulate in your coronary arteries. When platelets from your blood begin to adhere to the plaque site, they form a blood clot and may obstruct blood flow. With little or no oxygen, your heart muscles cannot operate properly. They gradually lose their ability to pump blood. This results in a quiet heart attack. The longer your heart is deprived of oxygenated blood, the more severe the consequences. As a result, as with any other heart attack, atherosclerosis is the fundamental cause. Most of the time, you will be able to determine the cause of a fatal heart attack. It will either be your cigarettes, high salt junk food, or stress. According to studies, being a type 2 diabetes considerably increases your chances of having a silent heart attack. However, this is not always the case. A few factors that can lead to a silent heart attack are sometimes beyond your control. A family history of heart disease, hypertension during pregnancy, and COVID-19 can complicate matters. Furthermore, if you are a postmenopausal woman over the age of 55 or a guy over the age of 45, your chances of having a heart attack increase. Would you like to hear some startling statistics? In the United States alone, one person has a heart attack every 40 seconds. However, your heart is far more intelligent than you realize. It will notify your body before entirely shutting down. If you keep an eye out for any uncommon signs, you might be able to avoid a disaster. After a heart attack, you do not have to wait for cardiac treatment to begin. Preventative cardiac care may be able to keep you from acquiring one. However, how do you tell if you're having a quiet heart attack? Here are a few warning flags from the American Heart Association. Do you have a lingering flu? Herbal drinks and hot steam inhalation at home may not be enough. Every one of us gets sick every now and again. It could be from overexposure to colds or by catching it from someone. The influenza virus is to blame for your cough. You may feel queasy and have constant throat pain. It normally takes a week or two for the symptoms to go away completely. However, if you are still feeling choked up after a long period of time, you should consult your doctor. Have you been feeling bloated lately? When your heart is unable to pump enough blood, fluid accumulates in your hands, feet, and around your abdomen. Your regular clothes will fit differently because of the water weight. If you've been feeling uneasy for a long time, it's a good idea to see your doctor. Are you perspiring a lot lately? Sweating is an excellent technique to eliminate toxins from your body. It's your body's normal reaction to physical activity or very hot and humid weather. However, if you are sweating profusely even when the thermostat is turned down, you must act swiftly. There is another reason why heartburn should never be overlooked. Dinner with spicy sausages or spirit and meatballs may create a burning feeling in your digestive tract so much so that it causes chest discomfort. Chest aches are the primary symptoms of a heart attack. Neuropathy is most typically associated with advanced stages of diabetes. This indicates that your nerves are no longer responsive to stimulation. You may not feel anything after touching something hot or after being pricked with a needle. The same is true for a heart attack. A diabetic may not feel the full force of a heart attack. The nerve injury will effectively silence it. The pressure, squeezing, and fullness in your heart may appear to be a stomach problem. According to a 10-year study, 8% of dietetic individuals had a silent heart attack and were unaware of it. That's how hazardous it is. You may have heard that discomfort from a heart attack only radiates to the left arm. However, this is not always the case. Pain may also occur in the center of the chest, the right hand, jaws, teeth, abdomen, and back. This backache is not the same as the one you get after sitting at your desk for too long. This is known as angina pectoris. I realize these symptoms appear to be tough to detect, but trust me when I say that your body will tell you when something is wrong. These out of the ordinary symptoms may or may not be accompanied with chest pain. Moving ahead, tiredness should never be discounted as trivial. It could be something less dangerous, but the possibility of a silent heart attack cannot be ruled out. 
this weariness is not the same as spending extra hours at the office or running an extra mile on the treadmill. It is sometimes associated with dizziness and difficulties breathing. If you have any of these symptoms, don't sit on it. It is preferable to go to the hospital. Your doctor will order a few tests to determine what's wrong. When investigating a heart attack, the gold standard tests include an ECG, CT scan, and MRI. Before and after a silent heart attack, your heart sends messengers to the bloodstream that can be detected by blood testing. These are known as cardiac biomarkers. Stress testing and coronary angiograms are also useful in making a diagnosis. If you have a true cardiac arrest, a team of heart doctors will be called in. Depending on the severity, you may be prescribed blood thinners such as aspirin or nitroglycerin to guarantee adequate blood supply to your heart. They will track your development once the blood clots dissolve and your oxygen carrying capacity improves. If the blood vessels have become too thin, invasive surgery such as stenting, ballooning, or bypass surgery may be considered. During a quiet heart attack, the patient may never attend the hospital and yet survive. This is not to say that you should overlook quiet heart attacks as unimportant. You may believe you have defeated the number one killer, but be aware that it has hazardous side effects. Did you know that if you have a quiet heart attack, your chances of having another one increase by 35%? Everyone's experience with a heart attack is unique. It often lasts between 15 and 30 minutes. Anything above that results in irreversible effects. It may cause the heart to lose its normal rhythm in some persons, resulting in a condition known as cardiac arrhythmia. Other long-term impacts raise your likelihood of having a stroke later in life. Do you want to know how to lower your chances of having a silent heart attack? Make a healthy change today. Begin working out. Begin with taking a walk around the block. Begin walking quickly. You'll be motivated to exercise in a few days. Try meditation or yoga. They will benefit your cardiovascular health. Combine it with some aerobics, dance, or zumba. Finally, don't forget to include some resistance exercise. Consume nutrient-dense, high-fiber foods. Fiber from raw vegetables can help keep your heart healthy. Remember to consume omega-3 rich foods such as salmon, avocado, and walnuts on a regular basis. Say no to unhealthy snacks and sweets. When you're desiring something sweet, eat some fruit. It will assist you in better managing your blood glucose levels. By controlling your weight, blood glucose levels, cholesterol, and blood pressure, you can prevent atherosclerotic plaque from forming blockages. Also, stop smoking. According to studies, smoking tobacco causes artery narrowing and provides less oxygenated blood to vital organs. The goal here is to get as much oxygenated blood as possible flowing through your system. And smoking is certainly not going to help. Aside from your heart, your brain requires nurturing and care if you do not want to succumb to dementia, Alzheimer's, or stroke. Do you want to know which superfoods and tasty drinks can improve your brain health? How frequently do you get regular heart checks? Please let us know in the comments section below.